Hi Belly Radio.net listeners. So this week our artist of the week is the great Mr. Guillaume Freno and his new project Red Eye. And he's from France, so that's why you have this kind of weird setting of uh, filming Skype and filming my face at the same time, because uh, well there's uh, about 14,000 kilometers <coughs> from us and unfortunately you can come see it for the weekend. So we'll have to do it that way. But uh, well I hope you know you'll enjoy it. And uh, okay, Guillaume. Hi, how are you? Long time no see. It's good Hi, to see I'm, you, man. Yeah, I'm really good. Hi, Numa. How are <laughs> you? Yeah, okay, for you because uh, I'm saying this because we were used to be we used to be in high school together and uh, we 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 used to hang out and play a little bit of music together. So it's really cool on a personal note to 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 see you again and speak about your 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 new new music, your new projects, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So first of all, uh, I would like For, for the people who don't know you yet, and soon will, uh, can you introduce yourself and your music? Okay, so I, I, I'm from France and I, I play music for, I've been playing music for plenty of years and my latest project is called Red Eye and it's really uh, folk, uh, pop folk oriented. It's really like based on atmosphere, kind of intimate and mm -hmm. uh, And it's a little personal. It talks a lot about about travels, about wandering away, wandering about, and um, and yeah, that's that's basically it. That's the the main thing I do right now. So, how did you what, <clears throat> describe a little bit your your journey into music? How how did you become a musician? Is this something like you always had in mind? Did it come up one day like that? How does that work? No, it was it, it, it wasn't uh, it wasn't that that's that ev that simple. I, it started. I, I, I've always kind of played music. Well, I've always been really interested in in, to, in music, and uh, it was it's always been quite a passion. And but um, I, I didn't really decide I wanted to be a musician or like play professionally or etc. It's just it just came along as as the years went by and as I met plenty of people I started playing with people they started growing confidence and started growing into me I started writing my own songs playing them playing them for people and I just met people got kind of lucky people got me on I don't know on festivals on uh, tried wanted to make records etc etc so it just it, I just kind of grew into being a musician mm -hmm. and <clears throat> now to To go with your music, I've, I've listened a little bit to what you, you've been doing, and uh, I know you 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 kind of one of those artists who's a little bit of a shape shifter. You you play different style, and uh, so how does that work too? Is it uh, one day you wake up and you tell yourself, well, okay, I've done rock now, I want to go more folk, or is it a ev natural evolution for you? Uh, Well, it's it's kind of a combination of, of several things, but uh, f for this particular project, I really had a very precise idea in mind. I really wanted to wanted it to be um, like very very folky, very wo woody with the, the the main instruments. I really had a very clear image of the instruments I wanted to have on the record and on stage with me. It was like the upright bass, the cello, the, the violin. Um, my folk guitar it was really very folk oriented and uh, I really had that precise image in mind so that's been really in my mind for the last like maybe two three years but it it occurs that sometimes I move around and maybe someday I'll get tired of this uh, this this thing this booty thing and and maybe move on to something else but as as changes happened before so I don't know it's really I get my mind set on one thing and then it, it changes on. <laughs> and so, do you jump back and forth or once you are tired with one one type of stuff, you will not play it again? Or? Well, I, I, I sometimes have the feeling I jump from, I go back and forth, but it's like, but I'm, all, I'm also following a, 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 a stream, so I never really come back to the exact same place. <laughs> I don't okay. know if you... Uh, it's it's just that I'm, I move on and then when I maybe I go from rock a rock thing then move to a folk thing and then when I come back to a rock thing it won't be the same rock thing as the first first time so okay. because it, 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 it changed around 
my, my mind changed and the way I do it will have changed because of the experience I, uh, I, I've, I've known or whatever, or people I've met or the people with whom I'm going to make the music. Mm -hmm. So all of this kind of changes. And uh, so I guess even though I do have a, like a perimeter of, of uh, the things I do and, and things I, I have in mind, but kind of, I kind of try to extend the boundaries all the time and try to do different stuff and new stuff, at least for me. Maybe, mm -hmm. maybe people can't, um, don't really understand what, why it's changing and all that, but I, I, I can feel it, so mm. well. <laughs> I follow that. that <laughs> all right. And <clears throat> well, talking about your your music, uh, uh, I've listened to your music, uh, especially the the, the latest uh, thing with Red Eye, and uh, my first impression, I was I was kind of struck by the fact that the music you're playing, in terms of well, music, is really something atmospheric, and you can really feel like great spaces and traveling and everything. And when I pay attention to your, your lyrics. It's much more introspective. So, how do you combine those two opposites, a little bit opposite direction? Well, um, well, yeah, that's that's really something I, I like. It's mixing those two uh, scales. It's uh, the, the lyrics. You're very right. Are quite intimate and kind of introspective. And it's it's like somebody uh, traveling in a car. It's mm -hmm. and you're, you're thinking about what you have in your mind, what you your your whatever your dreams your and you listen to music, you're really locked in your own little world. And But looking around, you're, you have all these wide open spaces. And I really like this contrast. And it, it's really it's really like how I like to maybe de even define my, my music. It's really this one person roaming around in these huge open spaces. <laughs> and so it's, it's, it, you're quite right. And I really like that definition. OK, cool. Um, I know the the you're like talking also about uh, your music in general. Of course, I think about all those great American songwriters, whether blues or folk, and speaking about their experience on the road, and at the same time uh, with introspection. Now, uh, what other influences do you have except for music? Uh, in terms, I, I'm thinking of writers, maybe movie makers or. Well, well, yeah. Well, I, I, I've been really greatly influenced by all types of arts in general. It's uh, and and movies and writers and even art, like just visual art. Uh, so, uh, to, well, we were talking before. It was, it was, uh, of course, the evident reference would be the um, the beat generation writers, the Kerouac and all that. Who really wrote about all this, the road, the travels, the and the journeys. But uh, I also have a lot of of other influences, and I also tend to say that being French, it's I've all, I also like uh, been fed on all these liter literature, on all this literature that was really coming from way back. So mm. I don't know. I, I try to I try to take whatever comes and whatever pleases me and make whatever I can with it it's mm -hmm. uh, but I try to keep my mind open and try to build up whatever I can